Hello my dear students welcome to Prudence Coaching Mathematics class in this particular channel you will get CVSC ICSC and WBBSC solutions so my dear students all the students who are not new to this channel they know that this channel always brings a important video for you today our important topic is how to convert a number which is in Hindu Arabic system to Roman number system for this you need to know some symbols and here are the symbols so let us discuss them first we need to know Hindu Arabic system if we write one like this we will write in Roman number system a capital I for it and we know in Hindu Arabic system we write 5 like this and in case of Roman number system we represent 5 by a capital V in case of 10 we write 10 like this in Hindu Arabic system but in case of Roman number system we write 10 as a capital X for 50 in Hindu Arabic system we use the capital letter L in Roman number system for 100 in Hindu Arabic system we use a capital C to represent this 100 in Roman number system similarly for 500 we use a D capital D in Roman number system and for the number that is 1000 we use M in Roman number system so these are the symbols you need to know to convert any number in Hindu Arabic system to Roman number system in addition to this you need to know four rules which are very important and very easy if it is not easy also I will make it easy don't worry so let us start with the rules my dear students our first rule is numerals I X C and M that is 1 10 100 and 1000 can be repeated to represent a number in order to represent a Hindu Arabic number we can repeat this numerals that is 1 that is I X means 10 C means 100 and M means 1000 in Roman number system repeating of this numerals means addition whenever we will repeat this numerals in Roman number system it will be considered as addition see for example I then we have written again I I means we know 1 so 1 plus 1 will be 2 because here we are repeating 1 twice next X X X so here X means 10 so 10 plus 10 plus 10 will give us 30 next example we have 3 C so here we will add 100 thrice because C is 100 so 100 plus 100 plus 100 will give us 300 similarly M means 1000 so 1000 plus 1000 will give us 2000 next important thing that you need to remember is the numerals I x and c that is 1 10 and 100 cannot be repeated more than three times in a number that means in order to represent any hindu arabic system number we can repeat this number maximum three times in the roman number system that means if we want to write 4 we will write 4 as 1 and v we will not write it as 1 1 1 1 that is I I I I that is four times I we cannot write because the maximum time we can repeat I is three times but here we are repeating four times which is incorrect so in order to write four we will write I and V and my dear students don't get confused about why we are writing four as IV in Roman number system that I will discuss with you in rule number three next thing which you need to remember under rule one is numerals V L and D that is five 50 and 500 are not repeated we cannot repeat 5 50 and 500 in Roman number system so these are the things under rule 1 we need to remember let us move on to rule 2 rule number 2 is a smaller numeral written to the right of the numeral of greater value is always added to the greater numeral let us clarify this one with help of an example here the first example is V I I so as we know V means 5 and here i means 1 and this i means also 1 as we have written two i's beside each other so it will be i plus 1 2 so ultimately we are getting 5 next we have 2 but as you can see 5 is greater than 2 so we need to add 5 plus 2 and write the value as 7 that means if we get a number which is greater in the left hand side and it is greater than the number in the right hand side at that case we will just add the numerals and get the values similarly let us see another one example to clarify our doubt next example is x and 1 we know x means 10 and 1 means i means 1 we know this as you can see 10 is greater than 1 so we will just add 1 to 10 and get our answer as 11 let us see another one example 
L means 50 and X means 10. So as you can see 50 is greater than 10. So we will add 10 to 50 and get our answer 60. So I think it is clear to you. Let us see the last example that is MC. Students we know M means 1000 and C means 100 and we all know that 1000 is greater than 100 so we will add 100 to 1000 and get our answer that is 1100 this is all that we have in rule number 2 that is if our left hand side number is greater than the number in the right hand side then we will add the right hand side number to the number in the left hand side and get our answer now let us move on to the rule number Three. In rule number 3 we have a smaller numeral written to the left of a numeral greater value is always subtracted from the greater numeral. So from this statement it is clear to you that rule number 3 is totally opposite to the rule number 2. In rule number 2 we have found that if left hand side number is greater than the right hand side number then we are going to add both. But here if we find that left hand side number is smaller than the right hand side number then we need to deduct the left hand side number from the right hand side number. For example we have IV. I means 1 and V means 5. As you can see I is smaller than 5 so we need to deduct I from 5 and get our answer. So we will get 5 minus 1 that is 4 which I have said that I will discuss in rule number 3 that is the value of 4 will be IV in Roman number system. Next we have XC. X means 10 and C means 100 and we all know that 10 is smaller than 100. So as left hand side number that is 10 is smaller than the right hand side number that is 100. So we need to deduct 10 from 100 and get our answer. So 100 minus 10 we will get 90. So our answer will be 90. Next we have CD. We all know C means 100 and D means 500 and 100 is smaller than 500. So we need to deduct 100 from 500 or subtract 100 from 500 and get our answer that is 400 so cd means 400 next we have cm c means 100 and m means 1000 1000 is greater than 100 or you can say that left hand side number that is c is smaller than 1000 so we need to deduct 100 from 1000 so 1000 minus 100 we will get 900 now let us move on to the rule number 4 in rule number 4 it is given when a smaller numeral is placed between two numerals of greater value, it is always subtracted from the numeral immediately following it. So let us clarify this with help of an example. So my dear students, as you can see here we have x, x, 1, x. x means 10. After that we have another 10. Next we have 1 and next we have 10. So as you can find that we have twice x one after the another. So rule number 1 says that we need to add to x and get the value so 10 plus 10 will be 20 after that we have 1 and next we have 10 as you can see here we have x plus x that is 20 next we have 1 and after 1 we have 10 so if we see clearly then we will find that we have 1 in between two larger number in the left hand side of 1 we have 20 and on the right hand side of 1 we have 10 so 1 is smaller than both 20 and 10 in such a case we need to deduct this one from the right hand side number that is we need to deduct one from the number that is following it that is 10 so 10 minus 1 we will get 9 and we need to add it with the left hand side number that is 20 so final answer will be 10 plus 10 20 then we need to subtract 1 from 10 and get 9 and we will add it to 20 and get 29 next one we have d1x we know d means 500 i means 1 and x means 10 so 500 and 10 both are greater than the middle number that is 1 so we need to deduct 1 from the following number here the following number is 10 so 10 minus 1 we will get 9 so 500 plus 9 we will get 509 so i think students it is clear to you how we are finding out the values when we have a smaller number between two greater number and the things which you need to remember is the numeral that is i that is 1 can be subtracted from 5 and 10 so we can subtract i from 5 that is b and x that is 10 the numeral x can be subtracted from l and c so x can be subtracted from 50 and 100 that is 10 can be subtracted from 50 and 100 next we have the numeral c that is 100 can be subtracted from d that is 500 and m that is 1000 so c that is 100 can be subtracted from 500 and 1000 that is d and m in roman number system
stamp the last thing you need to remember is numeral v that is 5 l that is 50 and d that is 500 are never subtracted so we cannot subtract v l and d from any number in roman number system with this we come to the end of this particular rules now we will start with excise and we will get our all doubts clear in this particular video first we have we need to write the following numbers in roman number system so the numbers given in arabic system that is hindu arabic system we need to convert this number into roman number system the first one is 36 so my dear students you just take your time and try to solve it that is you try to convert this number into roman number system for this you pause your video and try it by yourself after you complete doing it by yourself you will continue watching this video to see whether you have done correctly or not to write 36 in roman number first we will expand 36 so we can write 36 as 30 plus 6 again we can write 30 as 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 and 6 as 5 plus 1 we know 10 equals to x so we will write 3x next we will write 5 for v and 1 so our final answer will be x x x v1 next we have 39 so similarly we will write 39 as x x x 1 x next one is 506 we can expand 506 and write 500 plus 6 we can further expand it as 500 plus 5 plus 1 so it will be dvi we can write 791 as 700 plus 90 plus 1 we can write it further as 500 plus 200 plus 100 minus 90 plus 1 so we will write d for 500 and for 200 cc and we will write 100 minus 10 as xc and we will write i for 1 so 312 will be ccc xii 971 in roman number will be c m l x x i 979 that is 900 plus 70 plus 9 so it can be written as 1000 minus 900 plus 50 plus 20 and 10 minus 9 so c m l double x one x is the answer 999 equals to 900 plus 90 plus 9 that is 1000 minus 100 100 minus 10 and 10 minus 1 so c m x c one x 700 plus 30 plus 1 that is 500 plus 200 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 and plus 1 so you will get d c c x x x i 2000 plus 800 that is 1000 plus 1000 plus 500 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 that is m m d triple c 1347 that is 1000 plus 300 plus 40 plus 7 so you can write it 1000 plus 100 plus 100 plus 150 minus 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 so it will be m triple c x l b i i 1526 that is 1000 plus 500 plus 20 plus 6 so you will get 1000 plus 500 plus 10 plus 10 5 plus 1 so answer will be m d x x v i 2000 plus 300 plus 50 so it can be written as 1000 plus 1000 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 50 answer will be m m triple cl now we will see how to convert roman number into hindu arabic system x x v i i so the answer will be 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus i plus i so it will be 27 so my dear students rest of the sums you will try in your home and next we will start with the part 2 where I will discuss these sums. So my dear students if you find this content helpful then like this video and also subscribe this channel to get more videos like this and also check out the playlist of this particular channel to get all videos arranged subject wise and also press on the bell icon to get regular update of newly uploaded video from this particular channel. Thank you.